One more night down. I'm gonna need to stretch my legs and move around a little. You're right, it should be nice to take a walk. I'm starting to get pretty hungry. We're just gonna go with days without food and forgetting that we already said these things before. Don't worry about it, we gotta talk more anyway, just so we can burn through the introduction to the video. Yesterday, Rita and I constructed an SOS beacon on the beach. Great, I don't know how that's supposed to help us when we still have no fresh water source. Sorry, I try my best to find one. Plus, I wouldn't mind some extra help exploring the plane wreckage. There might be supplies in there. Hmm. Time for another intense decision. Welcome back to Discourse, everybody. How's it going? I think we need to change to up the uh, change up the formula a little bit more. Still, we got Disky sitting right there next to Rita, so that's that's cute. It's a Wilson tribute if I ever saw one. Uh, I'm gonna go get the uh, I'm gonna go to the plane wreckage with Steve because I think we did that second last time as well, but maybe we can change it up a little. See what kind of alternative decisions we can make with that. I'll go with Steve to check the wreckage. Thanks, Rita. That doesn't solve our water problem. George, you go with Gary. Make sure you find us something to drink. Oh, um, if you say so. I'm gonna come along to the wreckage. I guess that's all right. More hands to help if needed. I'll keep an eye on the camp then. Great, we're set. We're all good to go. Let's get a move on. This will probably go fairly similarly to the uh, first plane wreckage experience, I would imagine. Sure is crazy to see all this. It's hard to believe that anyone could survive that. Why were you on the plane? I was nominated to compete in the International Latte Art Championships. I remember that. Wait, so what do you do for a living? Make latte art, duh. Sounds better than my job. I don't make latte art. Yeah, going to college never pays off ever. Yeah, it's hard to say. If you ask me, college ain't even worth it. Nobody ever asks you even one question, Jolene. Probably if we read the script through the course of this entire game, no one's asked you anything. Ah, it's forced to go on a vacation by our staff therapist. A forced vacation? That doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, well, I threw a stapler across the office at my boss. You didn't get fired. I was given the year of valuable asset to the company speech. They still neglect to promote me, though. So how can we change this up, I wonder? So if we recall correctly... I, I guess I don't have to do that now, do I? Yeah, I've, I've investigated, for the most part, everything around here. Hmm... I want to keep Steve alive, so maybe we should follow the same formula we followed last time, because I'm worried that if we don't, he'll end up getting killed. Let's... let's maybe do that. Then we can, uh, try some different methods. Although, I am curious. That piece of metal there, why don't you see if you can lift it? Is there a different way I can approach this, too? I don't think so. I think we just need Jolene to get over and help. See, even then, it's a, it's a command. It's not a question. You guys are pretty strong. Well, it comes with working on the farm all those years. And having arms combined that make up the size of my torso. Actually. Alright, let's focus, guys. Just start looking for supplies. Oh, I think they see something over there. That is indeed a box of emergency flares, which we would like to keep this time. I wonder if we can do anything to help that out. That ain't alcohol, it's jet fuel. Steve, your cigarette... Oh my goodness! Instantaneously, the entire plane bursts into flames. I'm surrounded. Oh boy, uh... Try to jump out now, I'm curious enough. Just jump out, you can make it! Here it goes! Uh-oh. Uh, I'm alive! You're on fire! What? Oh man! We need water, stop, drop, and roll something! Oh. Yeah. Talk about lucky. Oh, and see, that happens too. Okay, so we, we hesitated the first time, but if we just tell him to jump out immediately, I guess pretty much the exact same scenario takes place. I'd buy a lottery ticket right now if I could. I think avoiding a gruesome death counts as a jackpot while we're here. I never really believed in anything, and I don't make much sense when I speak. Okay, let's get back to camp before we sub through. Everything else in the plane is burnt up and destroyed now. Let's get going. I totally abandoned his voice for a good portion of that. All right, checking in. 
Hey, reader. We were able to find water. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, we were able to find a pretty good water source, too. We ended up collecting the water out of a small pond. Could have got a lot smoother, but Garrett was distracted by his game toy. It's a game brick, not a game toy. It's a much different model. It doesn't have the 3D elements yet. Whatever, it's fine. Yeah, everybody should take a drink. Ooh, this is going extraordinarily well, actually. It's a pretty good procedure we've developed thus far, and everyone's feeling okay, I guess. How about you, Steve? Did you guys get anything? Actually, yes. We found this box of flares. It may come in handy. Wreckage was definitely worth checking out. On that note, I also saw a light offshore while I was wandering on the beach. Really? That's great! Yeah, it was pretty far away, and I'm not sure what it was, but it's something. Maybe we can build something to get out to it. I can't believe nobody's picked up on our SOS yet. We built it right away, so did everything we could. Something's not right about this. We have to find a way off of this island. Teddy, I'm sure they know the plane went down. I bet they're looking for us right now. Why doesn't anybody understand? Oh, that's right, Teddy getting all freaked out again now. We're being tested. Teddy, you're being ridiculous. You don't get it. Uh, I think we told him we would listen last time. Let's tell him to calm down. Teddy, I think you need to calm down there, pal. They're deciding which of us to keep. Well, I'm not going to be the one that's disposed of. All right, Teddy. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right that one of us is going to die. We all have a lot to deal with. Maybe we should continue this over by the tents where we can keep dry. Right. Good call. Where are you heading, Rita? Oh, that's me. It's <laughs> another one of those uh, easily forgotten transitions into control. There we go. Hmm. This rain is quickly getting worse. It's really cold. Well, this shelter is keeping us pretty dry right now. It's a lot colder out in the rain. We'll make it through the night. We can find something better after the storm tomorrow. Why do that when we can leave? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Where would we even go? Inland! We can find better shelter. Maybe there's somewhere that the water won't get in. We could get lost in the storm and never find our way back. We could also get hypothermia and die. I think it's a better idea to wait until morning. Then we can look for better shelter. Rita, you're being pretty quiet. Don't tell me you're on their side. Hmm. We left to find better shelter last time. Do we ask everybody what they thought? What does everyone think about this? Oh, that's right. Yeah, we did ask them before. We got all the opinions. Hmm. I think I'm going to stay here because if we leave to find better shelter, then the Jaguar ends up killing one of the two of Jolene and George, if I recall correctly. So let's stay here and see how that plays out. It's too soon to abandon this site. Let's tough it out here for the night. What? No! Give it up, Teddy. We're staying. Ah, my side of the tent is all soggy. If we're not going to do my idea, somebody should switch spots with me. Quit whining. It's just as damp in my spot, and you don't hear me complaining about it. None of our spots are exactly prime real estate, Teddy. Just shut it up and take what you've got. Why don't you switch with me then, George? Just go to sleep, you little... D-bag. Stop arguing, just sleep in your own spots. Yeah, Teddy, just go to sleep. That probably plays a big role, doesn't it? That side of the tent ends up getting crushed by a giant tree branch. Well, good night, everybody. Alright. We'll see how this plays out. Uh-oh. Intense music. Oh, no. Oh, snap. Guys! Guys! Everyone wake up! What are you going on? Oh my goodness, Flintwaters! <laughs> I guess I should have known something like this would happen. Looks to be a storm surge coming in. We must get ourselves out of here. Uh, oh, I called it! <laughs> I freaking called it! 
Ouch! Well, bad luck actually struck somebody else for once. Oh, Steve, inappropriate. Are you all right, Teddy? I think I'm fine, but I can't seem to move. It's too dark, I can't see what's going on. Rita, get us a new torch from the fire so we can shed some light on the situation. I'm on it. Off we go, nobody go dying while I'm over here by the fire. This seems pretty damn dangerous, though. I wonder if I should maybe check out some other stuff, too. Oh no, our things! All our supplies are washing away! Hurry up, the storm is coming in fast! I need to save the supplies, but if I lose the supplies... I think it's a decision between Teddy and the supplies right now. Let's go save Teddy. Alright, I'm coming, but we're gonna lose our supplies. We can find more, we have to get out of here! Hopefully you're right, Garrett. I like your optimism about the situation, though. Alright. Get that light up in here, Rita! I see it now! Your leg is stuck behind this branch! Here! When I say lift, we lift! Lift! Alright, go team! There you go, you're free! All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. I saw some rocks more inland. Maybe we can find some shelter underneath them. We've managed to keep the whole party alive. Uh-oh. Up ahead, under these rocks. Oh my goodness. We made it to the cave. Okay, okay. I'm liking this. Whoa, this cave is awesome. Well, if there's treasure buried in here or something. I really doubt there's treasure. Should be pretty good protection from the storm, though. Bigger than my apartment back home. I haven't seen a storm like this in some time. Well, let's try to get some sleep. If we're lucky, this cave won't flood. Back to bed with you now. Phew, I'm exhausted. That was not the greatest night of sleep I've ever had. It was like some of the rain water collected in puddles here. That's convenient. Takes care of one of the supplies we had procured. I've always slept better in storms. There's something beautiful about nature cleansing itself. You're a nature guy, Garrett? I don't expect you to get out too much. The sound of rain is usually peaceful, but I'm finding it difficult to think that way right now. All storms were good for back home with scaring the livestock and ruining the crops. We need to get our campfire going again. The torch is almost out. I'll see if there's any dry wood in here. Oh my god! We forgot Disky! Oh no, what if he doesn't make it? Heaven forbid. Poor Disky, we've abandoned him. We're such terrible people. Well, there's nothing we can do now. We just have to hope for the best. I suppose you're right. I just feel really bad about poor Disky. Oh, man. You have to give me that guilt trip, even though we've done pretty damn well, all things considered. Alright, here we go. Dry wood for the flame. Here's one. I think we'll need a bit more, though. We should be able to drink this water, right? Looks like this cave is a little leaky. Still way better than our old camp, though. Hmm. I never remember which... Oh, that's right. Yeah, you guys are telling me. I think stalactites are the ones on the top. Stalagmites on the bottom. I learned something. He's actually pretty damn nice. Alright. Where's Maladroid? We're supposed to run into her, him, later? They were gonna call him Mr. Whiskers, that's right, so it is a male cat, I guess. Now can we do something about food? I'm starving here! Hold on, at least let me get the fire going first, you impatient dick. Now, oh, there you are. Wait a second, did anybody hear that? Look, there's a cat over there! With your poor little kitty. Meow. What's a cat doing in here anyway? It's hiding from us. It must be afraid. Though we can confirm it's organic, we should assume it's a recon drone. It's probably just wait and let it come to us. Why don't we just grab it? Might be nice to have some company. I don't know about grabbing it, but I am curious to see what happens. Let's go ahead and try to grab it, Jolene. Sure would be nice to have a little feline friend around. Uh... Yeah, it'll be... Oh, uh, I don't know, though. My curiosity is getting the better of me. Curiosity may not kill the cat, but it'll probably kill the Jolene. Right, just wait here a moment. Oh, 
Oh no! Come back here, you! Stop Jolene from leaving! Uh... I don't know! I'm gonna stop her! Wait, Jolene! Don't leave the cave! It's too dangerous in the storm! Oof. I almost had it too! Oh... It's certainly not worth risking my life for a cat! Huh... Things aren't looking too good for us, are they? It's been a stressful few days. Maybe we should all take a break, spend some time to try calming our nerves. We can even take a quick nap and then this evening we'll deal with the food problem. As much as I'd like to do something more productive, a bit of actual rest wouldn't go amiss right now. Nap time. There's no idea I can get behind. As long as it's only a few hours, there's a lot we need to do. Just try to relax. Our mental health can be just as important as our physical health. We'll talk more in a few hours. Okay. I'm alright with this. Wow, I needed that. Sounds like it's still storming outside. It's time we focused ourselves. Okay, we've got more important things to deal with now. We really need to talk about food. We've been on this island for days and we have nothing to eat. There's really anything we can do about it. Can't venture out due to the storm. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hungry! Hmm. Garrett? Can I talk to you in private for a second, reader? I guess so. Garrett, do you have food? This guy's got food, doesn't he? What's this all about? Listen, don't get mad, okay? Oh, he's got food. He's totally got food. I've been hanging on to this candy bar since the car crash. Or the crash. You've been holding out on us, you bastard! What will you do with it now? What are you planning to do with that? Well, you're not even mad? Thanks for understanding, reader. I'm just glad we have some food to work with. No kidding. I'm sorry I didn't say something earlier. I didn't want to bring it up until it was absolutely necessary, because I love me some candy. I want to avoid having people fight over it. Okay, I guess that's a little more noble. So what's the plan? There are two pieces. I want you to give them out. It's awfully trusting of you. I've already betrayed the group by holding out on them. The least I can do is let you choose for me. Hmm. We should eat them. We could eat them and then no one would know. I'm gonna be a selfish bastard. If there's two pieces, we should eat them ourselves and not let the others know. We, we, we could... Couldn't we? Are you testing me? Yeah. Yeah, I was kidding. We should bring these back to the crew. <laughs> You sure have a weird sense of humor. Alright, yeah, we're gonna be... We're gonna be open and honest with these folks because we're still all friends, technically. What took so long? Some new information has come to light. What's that supposed to mean? Turns out we have some food after all. What? What are you talking about, Rita? Where'd this food appear from, then? Turns out Garrett had something stashed away all this time. I'm really sorry. You were just gonna let us starve? What are we going to tell us about this? I'm telling you about it now, okay? Let's go to the point here. What's done is done. At least we have something to eat now. There's enough here to feed two. Now I just need to hand it out. Let's give Rita some room to think. Oh man. I could really use something to eat. Hmm. I'm going to hand out half first. Maybe take some later. And who's going to eat? I kind of want to let Garrett eat, considering he was the one that provided the food for us, so let's go ahead and give him a piece. Yeah. Have a piece of that chocolate bar? Yes. That seems fair. Thank you so much, Rita. You're the best. I'm glad we're becoming such good friends. Whatever you say, Garrett. God, you're the best. Thanks again, Rita. There's only one piece of food left. I'm really hungry, but the others need this too. I'm gonna need it if I want to have the strength to go out tomorrow. I better give it to someone else this time. Not Teddy. I'm gonna rule out Teddy, because it's just... I don't know. This doesn't strike me well. I'm gonna give it to George. That's the last piece of food. Are you giving it to me? Yes, you need to eat it. Eat away, George. You won't take no for an answer, will you? Fine. My stomach hurts so much I can't continue to argue. I'll eat. I like George. That's it. I'm not low on the ranks, Rita. I can see that the survival of the group is not your priority. 
I don't know why I expected to get any food. Guess I'm not much use anymore after those crabs scratched up my legs. Well, I think I deserve better than this. I didn't expect you of all people to do this to me. I gave Garrett the food last time too, didn't I? I guess I should give the fire one last stoke and then head to bed. Hmm. There's not really a way to win through that entire process, is there? I guess we're sleeping in this cave tonight. Alright then. Good night, everyone. Good night. I don't think really call it a night, but I guess we need to sleep. By the night before we awake, it's been a pleasure knowing you all. Despite the circumstances, let's at least try to get a good rest. Good night, everyone. Day five and everyone seems to be alive still. Things are looking up. Barely, my stomach feels like it's going to implode. What you complaining, Teddy? It's not exactly a picnic for any of us. We did everything we could with the food we had yesterday. I know, I know, let up a little. I'm running on fumes here. Sounds like the storm has finally ended. Well, at least there's a bit of good news. We ate all the food we had yesterday. Our goal today should be to try to find more. I had something to eat yesterday, so it's only fair that I go foraging today. No reason for you to go alone, Garrett. I ate yesterday as well, so I'll tag along. Hmm. We can send those two. Or we can go instead of Garrett and George. I'm kind of inclined to stay. But we'll make that decision next time here in Discourse. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you're enjoying still. I'll see you then.